Search the mechanic shop for Aiden's bag. Okay. I'm pretty much doing, like, everybody's grunt work. That's all this game is so far. I could hop down and kill myself. That would end things quickly, wouldn't it? Alright, I'm going to keep the uh, bolt-action rifle in hand. Since I have two of them, I kind of wonder... I don't I have no idea where this compass is taking me. Return the anti antibiotics to Harrison. I could do that. Search the mechanic shop for Aiden's bag. The other survivors will join me. I don't think it really matters at this point, though. I'd have to go back through there, though. Oh, no. Not this bullshit again. <gasps> Jump! What are you doing? And we're off. There we go. Alright, I can't go through there. This is the only door. And it's locked, of course. What would this game be without locked doors, you know? Alright, I'm gonna use a crossbow as much as I can. I just wanted to just use the other weapons. Just so I felt like I was using them. Like, what is that? What the hell? That actually looked like something else. Alright, I'm gonna take the antibiotics back to that person. So he can help his wife or whoever the hell that was. His lady. It would it would seem like there's something right here that I could use, but it's just a bunch of cans. I guess that zombie overdosed on caffeine or whatever. See now here's my problem. Watch zombies be reappeared in this area. Even though I cleared them out, there's no way to get there. There's gonna be more zombies, guarantee you. There's one over there. Which house was it, the antibot? I think it was this one. I went to the back door though, and let me let me try this. I ran back here, they were in the bedroom. They might give me something, I don't know. Maybe you'll get a badass weapon or shit, I don't know. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I thought there would be more time. I love you. I will find the girls. I promise you that. Oh, the medicine. <clears throat> Thanks anyway. Here. Please be quick. I have to find my girls. I just went through all this trouble to bring this guy some medicine. And he just straight up just rocked. That's some bullshit. I can't believe that. Let me try this door right here, no? I don't think I've been back this way yet. Why would they do that? I'm not believing this. Get your ass up. I'm done with you. I was trying to think of who... Okay. Clementine had a clubhouse as well, so... Maybe it's just a suburban area. I don't know. There we go. I don't know. Okay. It seems like some of these areas... Why is there a cooler just sitting there? Seems like some of these areas are just there just to take up space. Like there's nothing back here. Just some stuff. I could go in this house right here. This is different. This is probably the biggest area in the game so far. There's one last helicopter to signal. So I've already I've already tried to help her. So I remember coming out through this garage area right here. So what I'm gonna have to do. Let me see real quick. Search the mechanic shop for Aiden's bag. Okay. And we're really just trying to find evac news. I'm telling you this this fucking compass is gonna drive me crazy. 
Maybe I'm supposed to go back there. It's telling me to go there. But I know that's not the right way. I know I'm supposed to go up here and around. Extreme conditioning. Could could we get any more Call of Duty with it? Wait for it. I don't know what that means. Extreme conditioning just meant you could run without stopping, but evidently that's not the case in this one. Since both of those doors are blocked, I'm gonna try going back here. Ooh, what the hell's back here? There's a mechanic, there's Aiden's bag right there, I guarantee you. You're coming, man. Oh, no more room. It's a fucking gold mine back here. Oh man, I'm gonna drop the sledgehammer. Actually, one bolt action rifle, I can drop that. Uh, pistol ammo, I don't need that either. So what I'm gonna do... Oh my sweet Jesus. This is gonna be amazing. I'm not even going through there. Fuck that. Gas can anywhere? Nope, all right. How many more rounds? Maybe you can go through there. Let's try this. Make it count, make it count. Did I get like four and one on that first shot? Nice. That was that side door. So I got this guy's bag. I need to conserve my ammo though. I'm still, I still need to just use this. Yeah, okay. You go back. Get my wife and Harrison. Once we light those smokers, we have 90 seconds to pick up. I'll update you on the radio. Let's lot them up then. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. Where are we going? So I gotta tell the guy that shot his wife and the other woman about the evacuation. That's just lovely. Oh, come on! It's just not even worth it. All right, let's go. If we can get back to them, uh, both of their houses are right right next to each other, so maybe, just maybe, we won't have any trouble. I'm shotgunning the whole way. I don't give a fuck. Go ahead and eat that. Not bad. Just to free up some space. Oh, there's a helicopter. I've kind of discovered if, if you want to sit there and kill every zombie, they're just going to keep coming. No. Hey, 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 they're already here. The hell? The choppers, you gotta hurry. I've not been back this way yet. They're leaving. Oh, bitch. There's a zombie, the yard right here. What the fuck? Was that a person? We don't have much time. Can we save Jane and her unborn child? She's gone. So are the choppers. I see. The last evacuation site is Atlanta. My girls will be there. It's Atlanta then. Wake up. This is it. Huh? Oh. Oh, are we in Atlanta? Look, there, there's Fireshine Stadium.
this ain't right. Something ain't right. Walkers everywhere! Run for the gates! Daryl, get a move on! <laughs> 